American Ambassador to Malta, thanks for uh, this. Thanks for your time and for accepting um, this interview for the for the coming few minutes. You've been here now for a week and a half. What are your first impressions of Malta? I have seen a beautiful, beautiful country. I have had the ability, opportunity to go around a little bit uh, to see some of the villages, some of the famous places, and am looking very much forward to seeing the rest of the country, meeting people, and of course, going around with my family as well. So let us start speaking about uh, the United States. We know that the United States uh, in the past uh, three to four years was the first country to go into an economic recession, but also was the first country to come out of this re recession. What do you think were the crucial decision, decisions taken by the government of the USA, which has led to the short uh, period of frame of the, the economy of the United States being in an economic recession? Well, the entire world is faced with this economic crisis. Um, we've been following the president's ideals about making sure that we take the steps necessary to pay down the debt in the long term, but do also the important things that allow jobs to be uh, created, made for middle class families to make sure that they feel some measure of economic security. And this balance is a very important balance. He's done it with some programs that live up to these ideals and hopefully we are steadily on the right path. And what's the way forward? Balancing the need for paying down the debt in the long term and creating jobs in the short term. So um, from the economic recession of the United States to the one in Europe, um, you know that Malta is surrounded by, uh, by a lot of countries, um, although being an island, it's surrounded by North African countries uh, from the Southern Mediterranean, but also from Southern European countries, um, which have experienced uh, economic turmoil um, during the past years and are still experiencing, uh, we can mention Greece, Portugal, uh, Italy, Spain. Malta till now seems to um, uh, been seems to have been having economic um, uh, advantage and uh, the economic the, uh, the economy of Malta keeps on growing. Uh, what do you think have led to, what, what decisions taken by the Maltese government have led to um, such uh, economic growth during the past years? Yes, I don't know I, if I would use that term. However, Malta has done a very good job of managing this economic crisis. Um, the United States is very interested in supporting Malta in this. We are going to be working toward one of my priorities is helping to increase U.S. business investment in Malta and also vice versa. We want Maltese businessmen to get to the United States. Um, we recognize that this is a universal problem and it's very important for European countries to work together. Each government has to take its own decisions about how to address the issue, what that particular balance that's going to work within the country. But it's important to us that Europe work together. And uh, as you know, Europe is a very, the most important partner that the United States has. So do you think the European Union has been working uh, sufficiently um, to date by, by um, managing different situations in different countries from an economic perspective? As we all know, this is an ongoing challenge. You just have to read the papers every day to see that it's kind of twisting and turning and uh, governments are, as I said, challenged and working hard to, to rise above and, and meet this challenge. And uh, so too are we in the United States. So if we'll speak about the, the Arab uprising, we know that Malta uh, had a crucial role, especially from a human perspective. Um, what, 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 do you, what, what is the way forward for, for Libya, Egypt and Tunisia? What do you think, the, is there democracy right now in these countries? Well, we found it uh, appropriate and ultimately successful to work with the international community with regard to Libya in, in particular, which of course uh, Malta has been very instrumental in helping citizens who were in Libya at the time who needed to get out. And uh, I've had the opportunity and I, I take this opportunity again to express the American people's gratitude for Malta's actions during the war. Um, but also we know that Malta has worked as a uh, uh, bastion for 
logistical and humanitarian support in North Africa, particularly Libya, and the United States wants to work with Malta as a partner in, in this. Um, you all are a wonderful uh, symbol of what can be and something that these governments uh, can look to as we help them build greater political openness and economic opportunity. Uh, there is work to be done for both of us in this region. In Syria, the situation is different. That uh, it seems that uh, we're at a standstill in, in Syria. What do you think is the way forward uh, for the Syrian citizens? And do you need there? There is the need of military intervention. Um, it's, in our view, very important again to work with the international community. There was a consensus among the international community with regard to what steps were important and appropriate to take in Libya. That is not yet in place for Syria as far as any sort of military intervention. Uh, we are working via the United Nations. As you know, the monitors are on the ground. Um, I saw that Kofi Annan announced either earlier this morning or yesterday that he felt the monitors were having a calming effect albeit the Syrian military forces were still in cities and towns and, and not where they should be. Um, we are watching, obviously we condemn the, uh, the attack on Aleppo University. Um, we are waiting and continue to call on President Assad to do uh, the appropriate thing with regard to heeding the in calls of the international community. Uh, but there are clearly steps that are likely to have to be taken, but they have to be done in a measured fashion and with the consensus of the international community. So the relationship between Malta and the United States have, have been positive for the past few years. Um, how do you see it in, in the coming years? What are you going to work on? What, what are your targets um, uh, as your new role as the ambassador, American ambassador for Malta? Yes. Well, we've got several issues that we work on together. Uh, the priorities that I have come with and laid out are ones that we will work on in partnership. Uh, first of all, the trafficking in persons. This is an issue that is of import in the United States. It's one that we deal with in the United States and one that we believe we can be helpful to uh, uh, to the Maltese government to help them with the resources that they've already identified working on this problem, that we can be helpful that way. Um, we also, I believe, will work very well together on ensuring that United Nations and EU sanctions with regard to Iran are implemented. Uh, important steps have been taken. We're on the right path and we can do good work on that. And of course, with uh, increasing investment bilaterally with U.S. businesses here in Malta and Maltese business in the United States. So those are three things I think we can do very good work on. Another sector which the Maltese government and the American government has have worked um, together during the past uh, few years, past three years, was that of uh, a refugee set resettlement in the United States. Um, the government of the United States taking refugees from Malta so that they are now starting a new life in the United States. Uh, what, what, is the, what is happening in this program? And uh, do you think that this program will continue in the coming months and years? This is a great cooperation, one that I'm personally very proud of. Uh, and I know Maltese are as well. You have a fine tradition of providing safe haven to these refugees. Uh, it's something I imagine every Maltese takes great pride in. Uh, it's an example for others around the world and one that we're very happy to work with you in partnership on. Uh, we have a robust refugee program as well. Uh, as you have offered that first uh, port of refuge, it has been appropriate for us to provide that, that second and hopefully latter one. Uh, in the last several years, we've taken, I think, almost a thousand refugees from Malta. So it's a, it's a good number. It's something that we've done very well together. Uh, recognizing, of course, that every refugee is not going to leave Malta. And uh, also, I think it would be very good and appropriate for us to work with and, and support your efforts to integrate refugees into Maltese society. Um, our own, as you know, is a very diverse society based on race and religion, national origin, culture, etc. And it's one that makes our, our country very vibrant, uh, very lively. 
uh, and one that we think you know, can work in other places as well. So we look forward to continuing our work on that. American Ambassador to Malta, thanks for your time once again and thanks for accepting this interview. It's my pleasure. Grazie.